Okay, this is my last video. Okay, what subject? Uh, off the top of my head. Whew. Come on, come on. Uh, haircuts. Okay, I'm going to tell you something. The way society is constructed in most areas here in the United States, uh, people look at your appearance and stuff, and they judge you, right? It's like prejudice or something, right? I don't make the rules, but I sure as hell want to know what the rules are, so I have a shot at winning the game, right? Go ahead and get a good haircut, you know. Uh, you want me to present yourself as a professional? Uh, that indicates like a crew cut, clean cut, you know, shave, right? Um, I'll go ahead and get the good razors. The uh, best shaving cream I've ever come across is Nivea. Nivea or whatever comes out of Germany. Um, not saying these other brands don't work, but uh, try Nivea. You won't uh, regret it. I've used other things from Barbasol to uh, Edge to uh, all kinds of stuff. But Nivea is really good. Really good. I don't know what they do, but uh, it's just probably years of experience in patent formulas, things like that. Um, what do you call uh, something I learned uh, it was out of a men's magazine learn how to shave in the shower to get clean uh, close cut like shave like I shave without a mirror maybe I should have a mirror in the shower but I'll do all the 80% the in the shower and then when I get out I'll look in the mirror and um, straighten out the, uh, the stuff I don't want to do in the shower because you can only do so much without knowing, looking at what you're doing and uh, you know, take care of that. Uh, clothes wise, don't feel bad about going to like Goodwill or Salvation Army and stuff. It's not what you paid, it's what you're getting. Um, like the shirt, I think I got for like two or three bucks. These pants, uh, I paid quite a bit more. They're, uh, uh, I, when I got, had all this war money from being in Iraq for a tour back to back, I went ahead and got some work clothes. Made a little investment. These these particular pants are uh, uh, 511, right? They're like contractor pants. I thought I was gonna be a contractor, go back to Iraq. I thought I'd do that, be like a private private contractor, but it didn't pan out. But I still got some work clothes and things, you know. So that's good. Uh, like these right here, you can put like M4 mags in this, and be it's like a like a concealed type deal, I guess. Well, anyway. Like I'm going to be using that in my present work. Let's just, you know. But, you know, things change. Where are you going to be in 10 years? Have you thought about it? Where are you going to be in 5 years? Where are you going to be in 2 years? You need to think ahead. Where Every single second you got, you can either make it useful towards your ends or throw it away. Like me, I would be considered a video game addict. Like when I was in Iraq, I played this game called Fallout 3. And, in fact... Uh, I should have been in the gym working on my physique. No, I just played Fallout 3 all the time. Well, I, I had something like 3,000 saves. Do you believe that? You know, trying to see, experience everything in this game. And uh, I pretty much did. Uh, you know, that was a good time. You know, mentally, but physically, no, no, no. So if you got addictions, like I don't smoke or drink or have any toleration for it or anything like that. But I am a video game addict. Uh, luckily, when I got back from Iraq, my uh, now she's my ex-wife. She took my Sony Bravia 52-inch XBR uh, TV for whatever. She took it out of here. I had a uh, PS3. It was a uh, limited edition. Uh, uh, it hurts me to think about it. But it's the only stuff. You can't take it with you. Uh, it was a... Uh, Metal Gear, Gummel Gray, Konami issue. Anyway, I bought all that stuff from my uh, bonus money for being a cook in the Army. And I played it for about three weeks prior to deployment. So I thought, man, if I die in Iraq, at least I beat Metal Gear Solid 4. And I did. And I beat it without it killing anybody. Uh, and you get like a little headband with infinite ammo. And then I beat it with rock and everything, but everybody. So amazingly, when I went through Iraq, I didn't have to kill anybody. So you never know, man, uh, or gal, or whoever you are. 
uh, how life is. I'm just ranting. I hope this helps you. It may not. Just life observations. I'm just making one last video, so I have plenty to load up on YouTube. Amazingly, these take like 400 minutes to load up because I guess they're pretty much quality videos. What's our time hack? Okay, we got like 4 minutes and 30 seconds. What do I talk about? Okay, uh, things that piss me off. Okay, there's these people that uh, call their pets their kids. Like, they'll spend more money on their pets than they would like a child. That kind of irks me, right? It's like they've transposed what it is to be human onto something that's not. Whatever, it's free country, I guess. Uh, but it kind of irks me. What else? Um, uh, you know, what What does it matter what irks me? You're not going to waste your time with my channel about stuff that irks me. At least not right now. It's not, it's, it's not, it, it doesn't help anybody to talk about a bunch of stuff that is not going to change. Um, let's talk about some positive stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, this, uh, this is a Zenith, uh, clock radio, alarm clock. There's a little story behind it. My first job, California Conservation Corps, I was late to show up to work. I was, uh, I, w uh, I went, first I was out in the grade, which is, you know, making salmon habitats and stuff, SRP, Salmon Restoration Project. This is a uh, California Conservation Corps. Probably some people know about it, some, maybe so. But, uh, anyway, I wanted something different, went the, into the cooking section, and I was late. My uh, boss, uh, Bob Malin, he said, you know what? You're late? Why, didn't, why are you late? Oh, I didn't wake up. Well, get yourself an alarm clock. So I bought this at Walmart there in Ukiah, California. Had it ever since, back from 2000 to 1998 to now. It's lasted that long. It's a Zenith, uh, you know, clock radio. Uh, good investment. Paid a lot. I think like 28 bucks for it. It's lasted all this time. But he told me, get that, and you'll never be late. And you were late like 10, 15 minutes. Just stay after 10, 15 minutes, and guess what? I am not late anymore. I got myself an alarm clock. Get yourself an alarm clock. My backup is my uh, cell phone. It's got a little alarm clock on it, too. Uh, the best backup is get some sleep right away when you get home, and then wake up, and you, you're not going to be late. What's our time hack? Ooh, good, good. we got less than a minute. The worst thing, and you've seen it on some of these videos where I talk over a little bit, uh... The main thing is uh, golden rule. Treat people with respect. Uh, do unto others as you have them do unto you. Uh, I try to live by it. I've screwed up a few, few times. And there's people out there that know where I have. And sometimes it'll happen. You're human. You're going to make, make mistakes. Some mistakes are worth making. Um, some mistakes you wish you could make over and over. So anyway... Uh, just be good to people. Okay. You're not going to be around forever. Okay. Bye-bye. It's got to be uh, closing out here soon. Oh. What? I miscalculated. i got a minute left. Oh, jeez. Okay. I don't like long goodbyes. and <laughs> I'm doing it for a video. Okay, I'll talk about this, uh, this little uh, wristband. I bought this off a bus driver in uh, Joint Base Ballad. Uh, they had, like, Four nationals driving buses. So we call them Hodge buses, Hodge buses, or whatever. Uh, that's what we call them historically, you know, like it or not. It's uh, basically 550 cord that's been uh, with a with a button. It's been uh, handcrafted into this little wristband thing. It's very rugged, very nice. You see them occasionally on soldiers. Um, let's see. Basically, it's braided 550 cord. It's been braided a certain way and then melted to where it's solid and then the button here right it's been chipped out and then the end of the 550 cord has been melted on